Did you know Italian Stallion was the first movie Sylvester Stallone starred in? And it was a low-budget erotic film. This is also kind of an, a low-budget erotic film. If you had an Italian girlfriend and you would make her this, she would love you a long time. They say you are what you eat, so I'm the Italian stallion. What's up, lovely people? Welcome back to Mukbang on Awesome Eats with your host, Ben. Today, we're gonna eat the Italian stallion. A whole ciabatta bread filled with Italian deli meats and mozzarella cheese. It's gonna be amazing. I love it. I love making sandwiches. So, we have this foot-long ciabatta that you can hear. So now, we have to slice open this ciabatta with this incredible Mac knife. Check out this knife. It's a serrated knife from Mac. This knife is serrated and it's Japanese hardened steel. Love it. Every Subway employee is getting a hard on right now. Okay, slice the bread up. This is really the perfect tool for this. It slides through like butter. And this you want to slice, but not all the way through. Because we're going to use this little connection to connect our sandwich back again. The bread has been sliced in half. Now it's time to add butter. Because more butter, more better. Yeah, the more butter you use, the more delicious the sandwich will become. I'm not gonna skimp on butter. I love butter. Just the whole bottom of the bread, just grease it up. Yeah. Kinda use the butter to lube the bread. <laughs> Gay! Bread is still nice and soft and warm inside. The butter will melt a little bit. Now let's talk deli meats. I love all sorts of deli meats. Today we've got prosciutto and we have thinly sliced salami. I think it's really important that the slices are super thin because then it's like layers, layers of deli meats going through your palate. Delicious. First, rocket salad though, at the base of the sandwich. Good handful. This is the Italian stallion. You gotta use some Italian ingredients, you know what I mean? Maybe a little more. Yeah. I feel like it needs a little seasoning. So I'm gonna put some olive oil on the rocket. A touch of salt as well. Some pepper. It smells so good, man. So these prosciuttos are separated by pieces of plastic. Don't put in the plastic. Yeah. Deliciousness, ness, 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 ness. So bottom layer, prosciutto. I used to eat sandwiches every day. They're so simple and they're so delicious. So I like loads of layers of prosciutto because that's where all your flavor is going to be in. Now we're going to add some salami. On the bottom of the ro on top of the rocket salad. Mm. And mozzarella. See, I love mozzarella, but usually people think associate mozzarella with that yellow stuff that you get um, that you get in packs that is already grated. For me, this is real mozzarella, a white ball. Ha! Gay! Slice it in half first. Let's slice these halves. I went to culinary school and this is the best I can do. Alrighty. And now these mozzarella slices go on top of the salami. There's no science to this, you know? People, if people say you're doing this wrong or this right, and, man, this is your sandwich. You can put whatever you want on your sandwich. No rules, man. I hate rules. Okay, a little salt on the mozzarella. Touch more olive oil. Yeah. 
I'm straight. And more pepper. There we go. The Italian stallion sandwich. Time to close it up. Look at that beauty. All going into my belly now. This is what dreams are made of. Crunchy Italian dreams. Hashtag dreams, hashtag salami, hashtag serious face, hashtag crunch, hashtag will blink182 ever unite? Time to consume this bad boy. So the best way to tackle this would be to cut it diagonally. And there's a reason why diagonal cuts taste better than straight cuts. I'll explain in a second. Okay. There we go, our sandwich done. Okay, the reason why diag I prefer diagonal cuts, if you want to dunk this into a soup or something, it has the perfect angle to dunk in. If it was just cut like that, it wouldn't fit into the mug, you know? And it has more surface area for the filling to, you know, enter your mouth. Ha! <laughs> diagonal cuts, for me, are the perfect way to serve any type of sandwich. It's better for storing, it's better for appearance, I like edges on my food, you know? So let's eat this Italian stallion. Mm. It's a really good sandwich. The mozzarella adds like a layer of creaminess. Adds another texture. Did you know Italian Stallion was the first movie Sylvester Stallone starred in? And it was a low budget erotic film. This is also kind of an, a low budget erotic film. If you had an Italian girlfriend and you would make her this, she would love you long a time. I also made a low budget erotic film once. It's called the top, the top 10 top sandwich hacks. If you click on the link over here, it will take you to the video. It's actually very low budget. Probably the worst video I have in terms of quality. But it's funny, it's kind of instructional. Check it out. I still don't get why people go to Subway. I mean, all these ingredients cost me like five euros. Isn't that how much a Subway sandwich costs? And this is so much more delicious and higher quality produce. If I wanted to go and get some cheap food, I'd go to McDonald's. I don't get why people go to Subway, really. I don't really like the end piece of the baguette, because there's no filling, nothing. I heard somewhere that in Portugal it's called the butt end, the ass end. Don't blame them. I love force feeding. It makes me really happy. Part two of this delicious sandwich. Anything you put between the bun is called a sandwich. I swear, I saw someone in Peru, he had a f***ing guinea pig between a bun. And he was on the bus with a guinea pig between his buns. They eat guinea pig in Peru. Look, a picture of me when I ate one. Guinea pig tastes really shit.
It's like really, there's no real meat on it. It's really tendony. Well, it's really weird. In a way, a sandwich is better than a girlfriend. You know, it won't talk back to you, it won't yell at you for being out too late. Take it to the cinema, romantic walk at the beach. This is the reason why people are so fat because of sandwiches. People think they're so healthy and they don't realize how much butter and olive oil and salt and greasy meats are in there. That's why I love them. Last bite. I would like to dedicate this last bite to Sylvester Stallone in the Italian Stallion low budget erotic film. Homage. Well, Ben versus the Italian Stallion. Ben won, Italian Stallion zero. I won against the Italian Stallion. I ate the whole thing. I'm still a little hungry, which is weird. Should have used that in the Indomie recipe. Or in the Indomie mukbang. If you haven't seen the Indomie mukbang yet, click over here. And to watch the other mukbang, which I'm not really sure what it is, but click over here. I'm gonna post two links there. Yeah. Um, don't forget to subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Um, if you subscribe, you can watch the videos that come every week. And watch the previous ones too. I've got shitloads of other videos. They're hilarious. Well, I'm wondering why no one watches them. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching today's episode of Mukbang, the Italian Stallion. Um, hope to see you guys in the next episode. Click on the links and don't forget to subscribe. Ben out! Ah. I have a broken leg, that's why it's really hard to escape. Ugh.